Okay, here we are in Adobe After Effects. Just going to quickly go over how to use the green screen effect in Adobe After Effects. So first I'm going to go to Composition, New, File, Import our video. And I'm going to take this video and drag it down so we can edit it. Stretch it out to the widescreen composition area just because it happened to be a little bit compressed. And effect, here's where we're going to add the keying effect. Key light 1.2 is what we want for this example. And I'm going to scrub the playhead forward so I come into view. And then we want to take the color picker and select a nice even area of that green, which is most even for the entire area, but it won't be perfect. See, we still have some white spots that are left behind that were a little bit lighter most likely than the color that we selected with our picker. So in order to fix that, work with that, we're going to go from the final result view to the screen map view. Where I become white, I wasn't supposed to be keyed out any, and the black area is the area that was keyed out. So what we're going to do is go to the screen mat options and we have black and white here that we can work with. So I'm going to crank up the black value and we see those white spots start to get pushed out a little bit but at the same time inside me where the subject is we see the little black spots start to show up so that's bad. So we're going to take and alter the white, take the white down and we see it removed nicely and our black is still good around the subject. I'm going to zoom in just to see, okay, in my hair a little bit, of my head area, we see a little bit about that black still there. So I'm going to take that white down a little bit more, down to 87, and it looks like it's a nice, very nice key. Okay, so I'm going to change my view back to final result. And in order to see the edges or the background a little bit better, since I'm wearing a black shirt, it's kind of difficult against a black background. I'm going to go to Layer, New Solid, White. It's going to be a white solid. I'm going to take that behind my clip. And now I can see, as I scrub that playhead a little bit more, as I get back towards the beginning, this is a problem right here. But in order to fix that, I'm just going to clip this later so it starts right about here, where our subject is in view. Um, actually, I'll just go ahead and do that now. I'm going to highlight that, edit, split layer, highlight the split portion I just created, delete it, and I'm going to drag this back to the beginning of the composition, and there we see we start right there where I'm in view just about to start talking. Perfect. Okay, now another problem in this bottom left hand corner and on the left side in general we see this area that's darker where the green screen didn't quite reach or where the shadow was a little bit stronger. So in order to eliminate that, I'm going to select the pen tool and start clicking around it to remove that area with those potential dark spots that could be a problem during the video. Okay, perfect. And what just happened was it saved that area that I created the mask with my pen tool for. So in order to change that, I'm going to drop my clip options down. Mask options showed up as of me putting the mask on. And I'm going to change this from add to subtract. So it subtracts that area which was covered up by the mask and it leaves everything else outside the area. Perfect. Select my black arrow. And I'm going to scrub the playhead just so we can see the clip in action. And we see there I am, the subject and not much going around outside of the subject which is exactly what we want a nice green screen effect now another thing that might be an issue is jagged edges in order to work on jagged edges one thing that we can use is another effect under matte called simple choker so if I choke up on the matte just a little bit watch the edges around me you see they blur while it's rendering I'm gonna let go of that and it's a little bit softer than it was before. I'm going to take it back down just so we can see. Once again, it's a little bit more rough. Take it up a little closer, a little more soft. It takes away some of that rough edge that we were just looking at. And there you go. How to, how to green screen in Adobe After Effects or how to use the green screen 
editing. That's one way to do it. It works pretty well. So thanks for watching. Good luck in your endeavors.